sunny California. That's where we're back. We're back in California anyways. What's going on, guys? Bradley Martin here. Um, this is an important video. This is a very important video. And I'm going to get right down to it. So when I was at the expo, um, someone came up to me and they had a vlog camera. And they were like, yo, Brad, I see you doing all this cool stuff. What do you think is like, what's some advice you can give to someone who wants to be successful on the internet? I think, I don't know if that was the exact question he asked me, but it was like, it was about getting, getting him advice to like, basically be better at like YouTube or social media or whatever he was doing. He was vlogging, so I'm assuming he's talking about YouTube. So, um, <clears throat> and I said it's simple. And I wanna tell you guys this story and I wanna tell you guys my advice because I thought about it like after I said it to him, I went back and I was like, man, I should really film a video and talk to you guys about it. Actually, when he left, I was like, yo, where are you putting that video? Like, send me that clip, because that clip was really good. Because it was like, we were in a group of like, maybe 40, 50, 60 people. Yeah. And he came up and asked me the question. So I was like, oh shit, I want to like, I was like, where's that footage? I want the footage, because I want to put in a video, but I don't know where that footage is. But I'm sure, you, maybe if you're watching this video, you can be like, yo, I have the footage in the comment section, let me know and I'll find it. Um, be like, yo, I put it on my channel, or whatever, wherever you have it. But since we don't have that now, I want to do this video. And <clears throat> to get to my point, <clears throat> how to be successful. I think at whatever you do, whether it be like you want to be, it's at Instagram or YouTube or whatever, Twitter, I don't care what it is, Facebook, is, is living in your truth in a sense. And I want to explain what I mean by that. Something that comes from your heart, <clears throat> okay? I think a lot of the times people, <clears throat> I'll give you some, sorry, I'm like having like this, this uh, cough going on, but I think a lot of times people, instead of following what's in their heart, like, because everyone knows, like, I want to put it two ways so you get it, hold on real quick. When people say, how you feel deep down, right? Follow your gut, how you feel deep down, that's what I mean by in your heart or living in your truth is that deep down feeling. So I want you guys to understand that's what I'm talking about, following that because I think what happens a lot is like people see success from other people. They see other people having success and they go like, oh shit, like, oh, that's working for them. <clears throat> Let me do that, it'll work for me, okay? And I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that that can't happen but I am gonna sit here and tell you that that will not happen all of the time. Because a lot of the times, if you listen to yourself, it's not gonna be what someone else is. Like, you, you can't listen to yourself and someone listen to themselves and you can't listen to them listen to that. It's like, what I'm trying to say is, following your heart, okay, is what's gonna make you successful at whatever you do. And it's because of this, check this shit out, especially on the internet nowadays. Um, if you follow your heart, if you follow what's deep down, if you follow what's like, in your gut, right? If you live in your truth, all those are different ways of saying the same thing, is that you're gonna be doing things that make you happy, okay? And if you do things that make you happy, right? It's never gonna be a struggle. There is gonna be struggle and there is gonna be trifling, it is gonna be hard, but you'll never find yourself like reaching to try and get something that like you don't really want or try to get something that like, or be something that you're not, right? <clears throat> and you have to understand this. Everybody, like, let's say you like fucking flying, right? And you want to be a pilot. Uh, or you like painting, you want to be a painter. Or you like uh, whatever, anything. There will be, there are millions and millions and millions, of, if you like fucking climbing trees, there are still, I guarantee there's so many people in the world, there's millions of people who like the same thing you do. Who feel the same way you do about something, right? And if you could share that with the world, then people are gonna be attracted to that. Now, what people do is they go, oh shit, I see that working for that person. I see, like, like let me give you an example, right? Let's talk about like filming like movies right now. Let's say like we're filming a movie. I gave you this example, Kevin. I was like, imagine like something has to be congruent. And congruent means like it's the same, right? Imagine you're filming a movie and the whole movie, it's your movie and you're, you're passionate about it, you love it. But then you're like, oh shit, um, my character, my character has a red shirt on the whole time, right? And that's your main character and you're passionate about it, you love it, and it's feeling good. You're like, damn, I love the way, the, the way this movie's going. Movie, your life, your life, things that you're doing, right? And your character's got a red shirt on, but you're like, oh shit, I noticed that like dude over here in that other movie, he's got a green shirt on and that, mo that movie's like doing really well. It's popping, like people are really responding to it. People like that. So you're like, oh fuck, so I got a red shirt on, but he has a green shirt on and a green shirt seems to be working for him. So like, yo, let's just, let's flip the script up. We're gonna give that guy a green shirt now. But then everyone who's watching movies like, wait a minute, like you were just wearing a red shirt the whole time, now you have a green shirt on, this is not really making sense. And it's not gonna be true of like what you really want because you're just looking outside and you're saying, oh, that's successful for them. So let me just like try and adopt what they're doing and make it successful for me, but that's not really coming from your heart. Like you have to understand that if it's coming from your heart, 
as life changes, as you change, as you adapt, it'll still be coming from your heart, right? But if you look at someone else's success and you look at someone else's like victories and you try and use it to benefit yourself, eventually it's gonna fizzle. It's gonna fade because it's not true. It's not coming from you, right? And, I, and the reason why I told you earlier is like, if it's true and if it's coming from you, then through ups and downs, it's always gonna be real. It's always gonna be genuine and people will always be attracted to that because people are always attracted to consistency, right? Anyone like, Anyone can go out and like see what's successful and be like, I'm gonna copy that, right? But then what you're gonna have to do is, when that's not successful anymore, what are you gonna do? You have to find some something else that someone else is doing that is successful and then copy that. And what if it's not? What if you're not early enough? What if now you got you got millions of people doing the same thing and you're and you're too late on that? Like the point is like, if you're being consistent from your heart, from your truth, from your deep down, from your inside, from your gut, whatever you want to call it, whatever you want to call that sense of like who you are, then it doesn't matter like what you're doing and like when you do it because it'll be true from you and you'll be happy and people will sense it and it'll be genuine and people will be like, yo, that's that person. You know what, like when people see me, like I meet you in person, you're the same dude I, that I, I'm used to seeing on YouTube because at the end of the day, that's who I am. I've had conversations like this. I'm just having it. I've learned to have it with a camera on my face that I would have with my best friends in parking lots, in the gym, after workouts, after we ate Denny's. I would have the same kind of conversations with people. I just learned to say, oh, kid, I, shit now. Let me be good at putting it on the, on the camera for you two, for you guys to see. So that's all this is. That's all like I am essentially is who I really am and who, and who like I want you guys to see me as, right? This is, this is who I am, right? So just understand like whatever you do in your life, you want to be successful at it. If it comes from your heart, you'll be successful at it and could, because you'll be happy. Like even if you don't have all the money in the world or all the shit in the world, like if it's coming from here, you're going to be happy because you're not forcing something. You don't have to be like, oh shit, like I wanna do what that person's doing and I wanna do it the way they're doing it, but like, I don't know if I really, but, I, but if they're successful at it, fuck it, like I'm just gonna do it. Like that, that, that I don't know if really, like that's the feeling that like eventually something's gonna give, right? But if you're coming from your heart, from your truth, from your deep down, from your gut, it's always gonna be good. You're always gonna be successful, right? And like I said, it's important to understand that, that what you love, there are millions and millions of people who love what you love. Okay, I guarantee it. There's so many people in the world. And if you just deliver that, find a way, like a message to like deliver what you love to those people, then the people who love it too will eventually be attracted to it and find it and see it and be like, oh shit. And then once they see that it's genuine because you're consistent with it, because people love consistency, then you're successful. And that's all success is. Like truly that's all it is, being consistent with a message. Because at the end of the day, even if it's like not making you millions and millions of dollars, you're still happy, right? Because you're delivering something that's true to your heart, so that makes you happy, and people around it are be able to like benefit from it because they see it, it's consistent, it's genuine, that's making those people happy, for, for, for whatever it is, and you'll be successful. So that's my biggest advice on success, how to get success, is like find what's really speaking to your heart. And I understand sometimes, like you, you might not know right away what that is, and I didn't know what it was right away. Like, I started doing different things, but I kept staying true to like who I was, and eventually like you kinda, you kind of figure something out. And that's the, I think that's the hardest part, is the figuring out what it is if you don't know what it is. But I talked to another kid, now I can talk about another story, this is great. I talked to another kid, it was the beginning of the expo, before we got in, and it was a 16 year old kid, or a 15 year old kid. You remember that, Kev? Those two kids. And I think it was a 15, one was 16, one was 15. And he asked me, and I was amazed, because I've never talked to a lot of 15, 16 year olds who are even thinking like this. Oh yeah, he was like. He asked me a similar thing, he's like, yo, I love what you do. <clears throat> I love how genuine, all these things, all, he's giving me all this like praise basically. And he's like, I wanna figure out what I wanna do with my life. Like, I don't, but I don't know how to figure it out. Yeah. And the truth is like, yo, at that age, and at any age, okay, understand this. As long as you're trying to figure it out, you're gonna fucking figure it out, okay? The biggest problem I think people have is they never try to figure it out because they're afraid. Yeah. Because like, it's more comfortable to keep doing what they know than to like, you know, like, let's be frank. I feel like most people in the world work a job they don't really wanna work. Yeah. All right, because they got there somehow and it's comfortable and, it, and it, they're getting by somehow, right? But what they really want to do is like, you know, I want to fucking climb walls or I want to rock, I don't know what the fuck, if anything. I want to fucking paint buildings, like, but I'm over here like fucking working at McDonald's or some shit. The point is like, that's the scary part is like making the jump. But as long as you're in your mind, you're thinking like, what is there for me? So this like 15, 16 year old kid was like, I want to figure that out. 
you're so far ahead of the game at that age if you're thinking about what you want to do with your life because i'm telling you from my heart that's that's how i was when i was a kid i was like man like i really want to do cool shit with my life i don't know what it is i had no fucking idea i have no fucking idea no idea whatsoever right but i know that every single day i thought about it Every single day I thought about what is it that I want to do with my life? Because I know there's more, there has to be more. I felt this, always had this feeling in my heart that like, there has to be more for me and for the people around me that I love. There has to be more, right? I can't just live this like, I see people live this nine to five life. I know people fucking hate it. Everyone talks about how they hate it. Everyone talks about how they hate Monday and all this shit. And I don't want to live that life. How do I not live that life? And I just thought about that every day. I was like, damn, what, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? And then I started to just focus on the things that made me happy, like I told you earlier, the things that made me who I was, and I just kept doing it. And eventually, you get to a point of success that you know people are telling me, hey man, you're successful, you have this, or you drive nice cars, you have whatever, and like, now I'm opening a fucking gym. Like, it, this shit is amazing to me, but I'm just trying to give you guys that sense of, it's okay wherever you're at in your life. That if you want to be successful in a different way, you, you, you have to take a jump. And you, or you have to just, before you even take the jump, is just start thinking about it. All right, if, if you're unhappy with where you're at, life, whatever relationship, but you just keep being like, I'm unhappy, I'm unhappy, I'm unhappy, I'm unhappy. Every day, like, without like, I'm unhappy, but what can I do to not be unhappy anymore? I want to stop being unhappy. What, what will make me more happy? You have to start asking yourself those questions. Otherwise, you're never going to get to the, the happiness. You're going to stay being, I'm unhappy, I'm unhappy, I'm unhappy. But the more you say, I want to be happy, what can I do to change my life? Every day you wake up, what can I do to change my life today? What's going to make me happier? Start asking yourself those questions. Put that out in the world. Put that out into your energy and your world and be like, what can I do? People think it's like hippie shit. I swear, people are like, that's hippie shit. That's hip I don't give a fuck if you think it's hippie shit or not. I've talked to so many people in my life who I look up to a fucking billionaire. People like people who have everything in the world and they talk and they sit and they share the same thing with me that I'm sharing with you. The same thing. And I know so many successful people who say the same thing. Like because you have to understand what your mind is thinking like that's, I mean look there's people who can like, you can like make yourself like, like physically ill just by thinking about it like a fucking, what, like a hypochondriac right? Yeah. It's someone who could like, they're thinking they're like shit man I'm gonna get sick, I'm gonna get sick, I'm gonna get sick, I'm gonna get, next you know they're throwing up. Like there's people like that. I might even be one of them. But the point is like, your mind is so powerful. Like if that's possible, then why, why don't you think like you finding your own success, it's the, same, it's the same thing. It's a mental game. All this shit's a fucking mental game. I don't give a fuck what it is. Like success, happiness, love, it's all mental. It's you being able to believe that it's possible first. And I know I've said this many ways. I just hope I've been able to say it differently in this video for you guys to understand. Like live in your truth. Live from like from your gut, from the, your deep down. People say, you know, what you want deep down? People ask you that question, what do you want deep down, you know? And if you've never thought of it, just start thinking about it and get on that path like that 15, 16 year old kid. Start thinking about deep down what it is that's gonna make you happy. And whether or not you have it now, you're gonna get it later if you just start. If you don't, then you can never expect to get it. You can never, you're just gonna keep living that, I'm unhappy, I'm unhappy, that same repeated bullshit. Before you start to ask yourself, I'm unhappy, what can I do to change? Right, and then I'm unhappy, what can I do to change? I'm unhappy, and then I wanna be better. I wanna be better, what can I do to get better every day? Right, that's why we talk about let's get better together. I love you guys. Um, so now, we're talking about success and I just wanna share a little bit of mine with you. Um, because at the end of the day, this would not be possible without you guys. Because, I mean, shit, this is what it is, right? You got, without you guys, like, I wouldn't be able to invest in something like this. So, gym. the gym, right? You can't really see it all yet. We're gonna go in there and show you like what, um, what's in there now and then I'm gonna explain a little about like what's what's gonna be in there and then I'll show you guys the process of like we'll do like a gym vlog and all that cool shit but I just want to say first and foremost that like this wouldn't be possible without your guys support and that's why I want to make the dopest fucking gym ever so that you guys can come to California and visit and be like I got to meet that douchebag guy Brad or whatever right you got to meet that guy and work out this dope gym because I've been at gyms all around the world and like this is just, this is a, this is embodying, this like, this is a fucking, a physical thing of like, man, if I can make the coolest gym, because I've seen all these gyms. I mean, this is what you wanted since like, what, 15? Since I, yeah, since I was a kid. The, my first goal was like, I want to open a gym. And my first goal, I told you guys before, was like, I was going to open like a personal training gym, but like, you know, like a little square. Yeah. And I was going to train hopefully like 15, 20 people, and then yeah. that was going to pay my rent, yeah. wherever I was, it was going to be a small little box training gym. But, it but now I get a fucking, yeah, because my, my, my goals and my things have evolved because of like the internet or whatever, right? And now I have to create this, or I can create this like dope place for all you guys to come whenever you're in California, like get the best workout ever and have fucking fun. Um, so I just want to say that like I'm grateful and I want to say thank you. And I want to show you kind of where it's at now and explain where it's going to go. 
and let you know that like I'm gonna do like a gym series, like a little vlog where I'll show you guys kind of like along the way as things get in here, leading up to like the grand opening so you guys can come and fucking visit or whatever. If you're ever in California, you're more than welcome. Um, because without you, this shit wouldn't be possible. Um, so yeah, let's go in there. Let's, let's do this shit. Okay. Damn, bro, it's like almost done, huh? It's almost done. So, yeah, crazy, yeah pretty much we're done. Yeah, we're gonna just we're open for business. Yeah. yeah. Bro, where's the oh, no. Bro, you just cross it, you know? You can do like whatever your things. Anyway, so we're gonna have like over here, we're gonna have, I'm not playing, this is a serious shit. Right there. On that wall. Okay. Which they're building like they're, they're building plugs in the wall because we're gonna put a nice big TV. Yeah, we got the plug. We got the plug. There's plug. Well, not yet. They're gonna. They're, it's a, you see, come on. It's a socket. It's a socket, the bro. Look, sockets up here, sockets down here. Because we're gonna put a big ass TV. Yeah. Like a big ass TV. And I'm gonna get PlayStation, Xbox. I'm gonna put them here. We're gonna have like like products, whatever shit up here. Because it's Game gonna be like a store too. as well, right? What? Gamecast. Not nah, it's old, bro. GameCast is done. Maybe the Nintendo Switch that just came out. Um, but I'm gonna have a big ass TV and an Xbox and PlayStation. So people who think here, so people who think that they can beat me at like PlayStation, because you're like, oh, I play Call of Duty on PlayStation. Yeah. I'll just beat you on there, even though I play Xbox. True. The point is though, I'm gonna have this here so we can like game. Yeah. Because I'm a big gamer. I've always been a big gamer, and I want to be able to like incorporate that into my gym because it's fucking like that's what I want to do, right? Yeah. And then there's gonna be a section with like a shop right here. All the apparel, like all the shit that I have. So if you guys front desk right there, front desk will be here. Front oh, desk right will be here. here, right there. Um, but this will be like an area where it'll be like enclosed, and we'll come to the gym, and then we'll put like some cardio shit right here. It'll probably just be Kev like jump rope like this. No, right, bro. No, okay. Nice, dude. It's See, that's what you get for for dissing me, bro. It's cracked. Is it? Cracked it, bro. <laughs> Damn. Anyways, wow. it's bad. Um, cardio right here, and then right here. Right here is gonna be like fucking uh, the big ass up and over. You know, like the fancy like pull downs, yeah. bar, like pull ups, all Price that stuff. Machine. And we'll have like mirrors along this whole wall. Right here. This whole wall. Um, we'll have turf running down the middle. Like, yeah. It's gonna be crazy. We're gonna have like crazy leg equipment down in that section. Down deep there. Down there. And then over there on that wall. Power racks and stuff. Power racks, like two big ass power racks. How many Olympic like, platforms? There'll be, well, the power racks will have, the big power racks will have the platforms like built from the power rack, like the big rack to like the platform. Yeah. So it'll be like two platforms, two big power rack platforms. Yeah. Um, with like the chalk thing built onto yeah. all that crazy shit, bumper plates, all that shit, with the, with the, with the racks and all that shit. And then um, band fucking holds and all that stuff. And then we'll have three other big platforms over in that corner oh, for like cool. power lifting, right? whether it be like deadlifting or Olympic weightlifting. And then we'll have like, no, I think it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six. So I, think it's, I think it's eight squat racks total. Oh. Because the the uh, the big up and over thing, yeah. you know, there's a, how many on those? Four on each side or three on each side? Four, three on each side. We either have four or three on each side plus the two. So at least six, six to eight. Six to eight, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, if it's four, then it's eight, nine, ten. It's a lot of fucking squat racks. So we're not playing with squat racks. Like actually leg day in here. Um, plus like, it's like, uh, what's that? For like the barbell, like to do like the muscle ups and all that stuff Yeah. built into that. Oh yeah. Um, and then like GHRs, fucking uh, lap pullovers, like bodybuilding stuff as well. Cause I was saying like, there's like gyms, like I just wanted to make sure I had like the perfect blend of like bodybuilding, powerlifting, and athletic, athletic training. Instead of just like, some gyms would be like, now it's just like, you know, just, a, this. just, bar, just like barbells, like, um, like just like powerlifting or just crossfit or just like a bodybuilding. like goals just, just bodybuilding So the idea is like to kind of put like the best of all worlds into one like the essentials So that you could do all those things because that's kind of like a lot of you guys follow me or see myself is like I do it all I try to do it all oh. I try my best even though it's hard to do it all the best Like you got to kind of like one's got to be better than it. But anyways, it's another story point is turf like right here all the way through this bitch It's gonna be dope like cool ass color um, Dumbbells will go up to like we're gonna get like a novelty 375 one, oh. but dumbbells I think are gonna go up to 330. Jeez. So they'll go up to like 100, to 200, to 200, then like 250. No, nah, I think it'll go 200 to like 210, 250. Um, the dumbbells will go like where they'll be racked up, but they'll be on like probably on the floor up to like two, I think 300, and then we're gonna have 330. And then 375. Just, so like for just, heavy ass rolls or novelty shit, you know? For shits. Um, so it's gonna be crazy. Like we're, we're, I'm just trying to get everything, and then like all the different kind of like cable attachment, pulleys, all that shit. Like it's gonna be nuts, man. Like, but let's let's show you. So we'll have two bathrooms here. So bathroom, bathroom. 
Um, this will be like a sink, like a mop sink, it's clean. That'll be storage, and then it'll be office. Let's show them the office. I'm gonna take a lot of shits in the bathroom, bro. Yeah, I bet you are. I bet you are. This will be a this will be a one way mirror. Damn, Damn you're not supposed to tell him, bro. Yeah, and this will be another one way mirror. Damn, so about two one way mirrors. So like, I can sit here and be like, "What are you motherfuckers doing out there?" Because I'll be watching people on the on the platforms and yeah. shit, right? Yeah, be like, your phone was like, bro. It's like, how how how'd you, you know? How'd I was, you know? I was watching. And then I have the, I have another one way mirror here, so that like we could watch the rest of the gym here. Yep. So we could just like you know like. You know, like guys who go to gym with sunglasses yeah. and they'd be like staring at girls. Yeah. They're like sunglasses and they're like. Is that what you gotta do? Yeah, but we don't need sunglasses. We just have one right here. Damn, bro. Genius. Just kidding. Not gonna be staring at girls. That's weird. That's creepy. Don't do that, guys. Give them some respect. Yeah. Hey, but just if you wanna stare at them, you just first you gotta be like, yo, I like your shoes. Yeah. Get to know them first. And you're good. And then you're kind of good. It depends. Probably not. Though. Don't like, don't gawk. You're staring, like maybe every once in a while, like for a few, you know, get get some get some eye contact. Yeah. If she's but if you gawk, which is gawking's like this. Gawking's like. And then the girl's like, well, what are you? That's very uncomfortable for the girl. Like, yeah. Don't do that. Um, but yeah, so this is the office oh, yeah. for like all the activities. We'll put like a desk in here. Damn. Um, but yeah, that's it. And then we'll have all the parking back here. Back there. Parking in the front. Hey. Um, we're getting like crazy sound system in this bit. Yo, dude. Uh, <clears throat> zoo nightclub at night? Yeah, bro. I didn't tell you it was going to be nightclub as well. Oh, it's a club, bro. Dude. It's not just a fucking gym. Damn. That's why I got the couches and shit set Damn. up and the like the bar stools on the side. Damn. It's a club. Crazy. Yeah, I'm not playing. Like it's gonna be I actually might well I am gonna hold like events, I'll hold like seminars, I'll hold like legit things like that. You know, maybe movie nights. I don't know. Hey. Just fun shit. Sleep like, overnight. I don't know, night. that's a little far. Why? Bring sleep bags? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Bro, I used to go to a karate studio. We had we used to do that. That shit was We got a karate up. studio next door. No, but I'm serious, so. We're gonna have, I just wanna create like a place where like, I never wanna leave. That's it. You know, you're definitely not gonna leave. And I've like, cause I swear to God guys, like I've been in the gym since I was a fucking kid and I've spent so many hours in the gym. Like I didn't own these bitches. Like I was just like, I love being in the gym because I met some of the coolest people. If not, probably all the people that I know in my life are through a gym. Yeah. And I know Kevin Simmer, like he's met like most people he knows from the gym. So like the gym to me, it's a sacred place. And I just wanna create like the dopest environment for you guys to come have fun, lift, make gains. like. Film your YouTube content. If you live in the area, you want to film YouTube, like come put me in a video. Like I don't give a fuck because I'd rather have someone put my name in a title for, you know, like to get views for good yeah. than to like be a shithead and talk shit and get views because they, they need my name to get views. So the point is like, if you want to come have fun, like this is this fucking spot. If you want to come get whooped at Halo or you want to come get whooped at Call of Duty, this is the spot. If you want to come uh, lift like a 375 pound dumbbell, this is the spot. If you want to come, uh, you know, watch Kevin do stupid crossfit shit. This is the spot. If you want to come, like, pick up girls, this is the spot. Damn, bro. This is the sign spot. Sign me up. Sign me up, bro. I'm gonna. Are you gonna sign yourself up, bro? I, I gotta pay double. Damn. I mean, I gotta pay a lot more than that. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. This bitch was not cheap. So yeah, that's something too. I want you guys to know. Like, I didn't just get like, you know, fucking. I didn't go. Yo, get the old equipment from the other gym got, and like you, you refurbish got, it. This shit cool is like custom shit. made, custom ordered, delivered. Like, cause you can't get the logos on like the. the no, I'm getting the logos on the on the equipment. Yeah. There's logos on the equipment. Like, I'm getting the shit. It's 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 gonna be crazy, man. Like, it's not gonna be like, yo, there was a gym that closed down the street. We bought their stuff for cheap. We're gonna refurbish and put it in here. This like brand new shit. Damn, that's what I'm doing. Like oh. everything that I've ever wanted, you're doing that. I'm kidding. Everything that I've ever wanted, like I bought it, like I bought it. I paid full price for that shit. I put it in here. So it's not going to be like, yo, I got a discount deal from Joe Schmo gym that closed down the street. It's all like custom, legit, fucking amazing shit. Like I'm not cutting any corners and because if it wasn't, you wouldn't buy it, right? Yeah. And if, yeah, I wouldn't, I just don't want to like if, if it exactly, if it was to had to be like, that, I just wouldn't do it. Yeah, yeah. I'm not ready to do it. Yeah. Cause like, if you guys fuck with any of like, my apparel, any of stuff, you know that like, Except for those one, the, the first, the first, I'm gonna be keep it real, the first bodybuilding wrist wraps, I didn't like them. Yeah. And those are, we, we, we redid them. Yeah. But the first ones were kind of, eh. The second ones are really good. Yeah. But since then, like, I don't wanna sell shit just to sell it. You guys should know that already. Like, it's quality. If you guys have any of my stuff, then you should already know that. But yeah. this shit is, a, is like next level quality. Like, and if you come in and you're like, yo, this shit's whack, I'm gonna be like, yo, put that shit in the trash. <laughs> put that in the trash. Yeah, we'll we're order, replacing that yeah, bitch. We'll do a new Not one. playing. Like, so anyways, I love you guys. Um, I don't, I know you guys, I don't know. Nah, the nah, the nah, true nah. squad knows that like they can listen to me forever. Yeah. Cause I kind of, they was like, the videos are so long. But I met a dude. I'm gonna tell one more story. Damn remember bro. We met, bro, remember we met the dude and who was like, oh, yeah. 
Um, he's Air cool. Force. Yeah, he's Two cool. Air Force guys and an Air Force girl. Super cool. Super fucking cool. The dude was wasted, but he was like a super fan. He was dope as fuck. Dope as fuck. And he just kept he just kept wanting to tell me like how much he appreciated. And I want you to know, if you're watching this video, I appreciate you and I appreciate your time. Like, and I know your buddy filmed the Snapchat, like when you were wasted talking to me, and I was like, and you kept like eh. it was funny. Um, but why did I bring that up? <laughs> I brought that up for a know. reason. Because you got ADD. Yeah, that's probably why. But no, I brought it up for a reason. There was something I want to say about it. You appreciate it? I don't know. No, but it had to do with the gym. Whatever. I just want. I hope he comes out to work out at the gym. I know he's from uh, Tampa. Yeah, he's Tampa. Tampa. Uh, anyways, I got a bunch of random information after the the weekend. Um, that's it. I love you guys. I cannot wait to show you this gym. Expected, expected days. It was like, when is it open? I would say, end of April, early May. Um, to be realistic, as soon as I know. Excuse me. I'm gonna put the, the grand opening and I'm gonna invite a bunch of like Damn. people, like people, other fitness people, YouTubers, whatever, like Instagrammers to come work out and have fun um, and to meet you guys. And for, obviously I'll be there. Uh, Kev won't, we're gonna kick Kevin out. Damn, okay. Um, but yeah, I love you guys. I'm out, make sure you subscribe. So much more coming soon. And yeah, if you guys wanna see that gym vlog video, give the video a thumbs up. Um, and gym vlog, I mean like the, the creation, like come in here more, film some videos, have some fun. Uh, but yeah, that's it. I love you. I'm out. What are you doing, bro? I'm driving this. What is this? G what? GD uh, 2632. Yes, 2632. Yeah. We gotta. I mean, we gotta get a good thumbnail, bro. What do you mean? True. This is important.